That's not enticing. I mean, I don't know what is. Get it up. So here's the thing, I'm sick if you couldn't tell by those bodily functions and I thought, you know, it's springtime, a lot of allergies are in the air so I thought maybe you guys might be sick too and I just thought it would be super cool if um, I taught you guys how to be sick just like I am, like what my, my routine or how I live my life when I'm sick pretty much. The first step to becoming properly sick is you're gonna you're gonna need to figure out a way to get um, sick so maybe there's really just two options here you could either a prank your parents your mom your dad and pretend the sickness you know or you could be an authentic hoe and you could um, you know have allergies like I do um, be pretty much allergic to springtime or you know, maybe someone has the flu and you could just like lick their face or something disgusting and just really figure out, you know, touch their phone a lot, I don't know, lick their phone, I don't know, figure something out to get yourself sick so that you can properly complete the following steps. Once you find yourself actually sick, you're going to want to get into your comfy clothes, you know, because um, that's just, it's how it works when you're sick, you know, you're not going to want to be looking good you know you want people to know that you're sick you know you want people to be you know so I usually go with you know a big sweatshirt and you know either sweatpants or like some sweat shorts maybe if you're spunky and then your hair isn't there's no need for it to look good no need for your face to look good you know just really um make sure it's clear that you're trying to be as ugly as possible you know leave those dark circles under your eyes you know just be be as ugly as possible not ugly maybe just um comfy you know comfy not ugly just comfy you know yeah <coughs> then once you're comfy you know you're gonna want to try and cure this sickness get rid of it as fast as possible um i would recommend pills personally my favorite um, since I do have allergies, I've been taking like a Zyrtec and like a Sudafed and like an Advil, you know, just things that like cure you up really good and make you feel um, better and worsen the effects of this sickness because it sucks and you want everyone to know that it sucks, which leads me into my next point. And that is to milk this situation for everything that it's worth. You want everyone to feel bad for you. You want all of your friends to, you know, have a big old frickin' p pity party for you, you know? You want your mom to do everything for you. You want her to cook for you. You want her to do all of your household responsibilities. You can't do that, you're sick. Make sure to complain as much as possible so no one ever forgets that you're sick. And no one, everyone knows that you're sick right now and they need to feel bad for you. It's their duty to feel bad for you in this moment. Once you've got everyone feeling bad for you, it's time for you to relax. So I'll see you guys in the bathroom. Okay, hey guys, we're in the bathroom. And the next step is to take a face mask of some sort, if you can't tell. Um, I hate things touching my face. So I prefer to use like this Hydra eye gel patches, Hydra, Hydra gel eye patches. Um, they're from Peter Thomas Roth and they're, <laughs> They're 24 karat gold, but um, I'm not I'm not rich. For it. I'm not saying I'm rich or anything. It's just I, I guess it's just implied. I'm just kidding. These were a gift, so not really sure I need these, but they make me look bougie, so I'm good with it. And once you have your your eye patches on or face mask, whatever you're feeling, maybe you like face masks, I don't know. You're gonna go ahead and turn on your bathy boomkins. Grab this bath bomb. It says ABC on it, so I don't, I'm not sure what scent that is, but we'll go ahead and check it out. I mean, I don't, I can't really tell what it smells like, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. The water's like yellow green. 
who thought about that who was like a yellow bath bomb yeah people are gonna dig that people are gonna love a yellow bath bomb like that's so gross it literally just looks like you peed in here that's disgusting and then there's like the abc on the front apparently that meant that it comes with a magnetic letter inside that doesn't what like <laughs> why would you put that in there i don't get it <laughs> makes no sense to me but i'm just gonna try and relax in my bath and you know just have the best possible experience i can okay i'm out of the bath um update the the color didn't really affect how relaxing it was still pretty relaxing which is always good news um i don't think the little eye patches did anything i look just as dead as i did before but I just wanted to point out another essential step is um, this towel. Um, I don't know where it's from because I accidentally stole it from the Westin in Mexico. Um, I shoved it in my bag and brought it all the way home and didn't even realize. So that's not stupid. I don't know what is. But it's, it is the largest, longest, comfiest towel I will ever have and recommend to anyone. I don't know where it's from, but maybe you could figure out where the Westin buys their towels from. I don't know, I'll look it up, but at this just, it really made, it makes me happy and I, I look forward to using it every time I bathe. So, I don't know, you just find a towel that makes you happy and it will help your sickness, I guarantee. Now that you're done with your bath, this is probably the most crucial step to being comfy. Since you're sick, this is an, an excuse to sleep as much as you want and we really, we want to grasp this. We want to take this by its, um, by its head. I don't know you want to grab this and you want to just really make it um, important and um, as comfortable as possible so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now uh oh okay here's what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to spread out your comfy your comfy dirt then you want to take all you're gonna need about between um, four to five pillows and about um, six blankets and those are all gonna get shoved at the top for your head because you know now that it's springtime we don't need all the blankets on top of us since it's warmer so it's better to just put them all by your head you know so then you're a lot more comfy and you got a lot of things by your head and that's that's really what's gonna want to make you happy and then once you climb back in after your bath you know then you're gonna be a lot more happy because like you know, when you get into a made bed, you know, you're a lot happier of a girl, or at least I am. So I'm just trying to make you guys happier girls too. Or boys. Whatever tickles your pickle. Now that you have this made bed to get into when you're ready to go to bed, um, you, I think it's important to stay positive, you know? Um, even though you're complaining a lot and you feel awful, you gotta stay positive. You gotta remember those good days. So, um, uh, find a way to just make you happy again. Make you a good, happy gal. Just be a good, happy gal. You know, you know, you know. <sighs> um, um, I would maybe recommend doing this by watching a YouTube video. Maybe there's a show that makes you giggle a lot um and those are you know those are probably like the best ways to just remember that it gets better you know there are days where like it's hard but it gets better baby you know i guess i'm just like a motivable a motivational speaker now um it does you know your sickness doesn't last forever and there will be better days i hope you all enjoyed this video um if you didn't, uh, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, baby. Eh. Um, if you did, make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe because that would mean bunches and bunches. Um, and go ahead and leave a comment um, what your favorite sick remedy is, what makes you feel better when you're sick. And um, yeah, kisses and well wishes. <coughs> oh god look at the fucking lord Voldemort out here baby eh.